hello guys welcome back so now i want to show you how to install and how to set up openvs all right so to do that just open your terminal and type this command here to install sudo apt install dvm all right this is the new the new way instead of typing openvs just type here dvm short name of greenbone vulnerability manager and after that just hide enter this is how you will install but in Kali Linux, OpenVS is, is pre-installed. So that's why you see this information here. By default, the GVM is installed. But in order to set up it, you need to do something here. After this, if you are using another Linux version, you can do this to install. But if you are using Kali Linux, you just need to type this command now. sudo GVM setup. All right. What will happen when you hide enter here? The system will set up the or GVM and all libraries and all packages you will need to start using it. All right. To do that, let's go ahead and hide enter. I already did this, but I just want to show you. Okay. It will try to create a database, migrate database. We'll check for the admin user and create if the user does not exist but i already did this that's why you are seeing this information here as you can see okay gvm already exists okay and after that this process you will see this process here for you in your case if it is the first time you run this command this process will take long time doesn't matter if you have a 10 or 20 mps internet speed it doesn't matter okay so be patient and wait until the process is finished all right i already did this all right but after this process you will see something like this let me open this picture here let me open it what you will see you will see something like this okay and the most important thing here you need to see is this area here this three lines here you see here done and please note the password for admin use okay during this process the system will create admin user for you so with that user you will be able to access the gvm via the browser all right and because of that the system creates the admin user and it will create for you the password so you need to note this password here just copy this password because you will need to use to log in and after that you can change the password okay but for first for the first login just copy this password here all right just copy select and copy this password all right let me go back to my terminal all right it is still working on update let's wait until it ends and we will continue all right all right so after that if the process is finished what you need to do you need to check if the installation is okay or not if is there any issue with the installation or not to do that just type this command here sudo gvm check setup all right this one here and hind enter okay as you can see here the version and it is checking for all packages and all libraries needed to use the open vas okay and here we have error here greenborn security assistant too old or too new all right and please install greenborn security assistant and as you can see here this error you give him installation is not yet complete so what we need to do we need to correct this error here to fix this error what you need to do you need to type this command here sudo nano because we need to make some change here and follow this path here and hint enter all right just scroll down and you need to find this line here gsa major just come here and delete the number zero just delete it and hind ctrl o and after that just hind enter to write the new configuration and now just hind ctrl x to exit all right so after this you need to to check again let's use this command again gvm check setup to verify if the error is gone or not let's hit enter so as you can see the installation is okay now as you can see here seems like you give him installation is okay so the problem is solved all right so another thing you need to see here if you go back for example you see here for example here greenborn security assistance service is active so the service is already running all right so if you type here sudo gvm 
start this is the command we use to start the gvm and you hit enter you will see you will receive this error here this error message here saying that something is already using the port this is the port used by gvm all right what you need to do you just need to ignore it just open your browser the server is already running just open your browser and go to firefox you need to type here this address https okay like this one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one and you need to indicate to provide here the port nine three nine two and hind enter you will receive this warning okay because of the certificate just ignore it go to this option here advanced and scroll down and here you have this option accept the risk and continue just click here all right so here is the login page don't forget the password you just copied all right for me as i changed the password i already changed my password so the username is admin and you need to provide the password just passed here okay let me provide mine and sign in as you can see i log it in here all right so let me close in next lesson i will show you how we can change or reset the password okay so here the next thing i want to show you here let me close the browser all right this is error message okay but let's suppose that you want to start the server to stop the server you just need to type here sudo gvm stop let's stop the gvm stopping open bus service okay it's done okay it's done so if you go back to the browser you won't be able to access it you can go to the page you can go to the page here https let me provide the the ip as you can see i'm here in the login page but if i type my data here because i stop at the process okay the service and i will type here the password all right so as you can see you see this error an error occurred during making the request most likely the web server does not respond all right when you see this error here means that the server is not running the service is not running what you need to do you can just minimize it you need to come here because we stopped the server let's clean up the terminal what you need to do when it happened you need to start the server okay sudo gvm start i want to show you how it looks like when it's starting all right you will see this information here and as you can see here this as you can see here the ip you need to type as you can see here is opening okay this is how it looks like okay when it is starting the service all right so now let's go back to the browser and we are already here okay you can just copy and paste so what i need to do here i can open another tab so here now let me log in as you can see now it's working okay so that's it for this lesson see you in next lesson